and it goes like this. Come on, put your hands together.
Greetings, I'm Prophetess Charlene D. Holtz. And I'm Bishop Randall E. Holtz. And we want to welcome you to the New Hope MBC Ministries of Miami, where we believe in building strong families for the 21st century and beyond. We welcome you to our live broadcast as we prepare to hear the word of the Lord. We invite you to join us in the praise and worship experience. Please invite a friend or two to come along as well. Now, let's go right into the service. Good morning, New Hope, and all those that are watching this morning. We come this morning to give God praise and to give God glory. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. I am so glad to be here another Sunday morning. It's the third Sunday already in March. Boy, how time is passing by. But thank God we are still here, and we're still going to give God all the praise and all the glory because he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God this morning. I just thank God for being here. Hallelujah. And it's soon. This is going to soon going to be over and we're going to all be together, honey. And when church get together, bet I'm going to be running, jumping, and, and I mean praising God like I done lost my natural mind. Hallelujah. We miss y'all so much. But anyway, hallelujah, y'all give God some praise because this is Sunday morning. And I feel Sunday morning joy. The joy of the Lord is in this house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, my God. I wanna, I'm going to get out the way so God can get in the way and have his way, but we're going to pray, hallelujah, and then, hallelujah, you're going to hear the voices, these beautiful voices that are behind me, ready to give God some praise and give God some glory. I'm just so thankful to God because God has been good to me, to been good to our family, our church family, and he's still on the throne. He's still, hallelujah, healing, delivering, hallelujah, glory to God. We thank God. We thank God and we praise God this day. Heavenly Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. God, we just want to thank you for another Sunday morning. God, we just ask God that you will bless right now, God, this land. God, bless your people, God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, move by your spirit this Sunday morning, God. We want you to get all the glory and all the praise, God, because you are worthy. God, we come lifting you up. We come magnifying your name, God. We come exhorting you, God. We come reverencing you. We come to God, give you thanksgiving, God, and to pour out praise, God. And God, we ask that you just pour it out on us this morning, God. Have your way. Move by your spirit and by your power and by your authority this morning, God. We thank you, God. Lord God, now we just ready to praise. Come on, praise team, and give God some praise this morning. He is worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. Now the voices. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what you come to do, yes. but we come to praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We come to lift him up. Yes. We come to give God glory. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all come on.
know what you come to do, let me hear you say I don't know what you come to do. Say I don't know what you come to do, let me hear you say I Do. Let me hear you say it. But I know what I come to say do. Say it again now, but I know what I come to do. Let me hear you say it. But I know what I come to do. Hey, hey, I come to clap my hands. I, I came to give God praise. Give praise. I came to give God praise. Give praise. Hey, 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 I came to do my dance. My dance. Hey, 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 hey. Say I came. those this morning, Lord God, that are grieving, Lord God, for lost loved ones, Lord God. We know you can do it, God, because you're a way maker, yes, Father God. God. Yes. You made a way, Lord God, yes. out of no way. Lord God, when we didn't have money, when we didn't have food, yes. Lord God, when we didn't have a friend, Lord God, yes, God. when we were hurting and broken, Lord God, yes. you were our friend, Lord, yes, God. Lord God. You opened our eyes and made a way out of no yes. way, Father. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for being our friend. We thank you for being here, Lord God. For living in us, Lord God. For being a true way out of no way, Lord God. And we bless your name today. We shall bark your name today. God, we give you glory. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, Father. Hallelujah. God, move by your powers Hallelujah. and your spirit, Father. Move in this place, Lord God. Move on this earth, Father. You're worthy. Hallelujah. You are here. Moving in this place, 
and I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are working in this place. And I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are moving in our midst. And I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are moving in our midst. And I worship you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I worship you. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. My God, that is who you are. We call you Waymaker. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here. You are healing every heart. And I worship you. I worship you. You are here, you are healing everyone, and I worship you, I worship you. You are here, you are healing everyone, and I worship you. I worship you. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. My God, that is who you are. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper. Light you are the light in the darkness, that is who you are. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Worker. You're working, yeah. even though we can't feel it. You're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working, even though we can't see it. You're working, even though we can't feel it. You're working, you never stop, you never stop working. you are, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop working. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. That is who you are. 
I worship you. You are here, rearranging destinies, and I worship you. I worship you. Oh, come on and praise him. Come on and give God glory. When you're in the presence of the king, worship him. He is worthy. Yes, he is. He's awesome. He made a way yesterday. He made a way today. And he will forever make ways out of no way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that is who you are. You are a way maker. You are a promise keeper. You are a miracle worker, God. That is who you are. What is God to you? What is God to you? He's a way maker to me. He has made a way. Hallelujah. He'll make a way when it seems like there's no way. He is a way maker. He'll clean the path. Ask, ask Moses in the Red Sea. Honey, when they didn't see the way, God made a way. In the midst of Pharaoh and all his imps behind him, God opened up the Red Seas. Have God ever opened the Red Seas for you? I don't know about you, but I know for me, there's been so many times in my life where I didn't know where to go. Hallelujah. But God made a way out of no way. Y'all better come on and give God some praise. He keep his promises. He don't never break his promise. Have you ever had anyone in your life promise you that they will do for you something and they broke their promise? And many of you been married and, and then he said to death do you part and the other one didn't keep their promise. That's a hurting thing when they promise you something and they break their promise. But God is a promise keeper. He always keep his promise. He's never going to let you down. That's who he is. That's who he is. Who you are. Who you are. God say what he mean and he mean what he say. Thank you, God. And miracles after miracles. He always doing miracles. Miracles. How many of you been sick? The doctors gave you a report. And the doctor said this. But God said this. And we stand on what God say. We can be what God say. We can do what God say we do. That is who we are. He's his word. His word would never return void. Come on, give God some praise. I'm so I'm feeling so good this morning. I'm feeling some fire, anointing. The anointing, hallelujah, is all in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. New hope. How y'all doing this morning? God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We feel God in the atmosphere. I'm praising him. There's not many of us here, just the, the um praise team. Bishop and us, and we got the um, ministry back there, those who work in the sound booth. But, baby, we praising God in this house like it's full. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The, 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 the wind of God is in here. The anointing is in here. The destroying yokes is in this house. Hallelujah. That is who he is this morning. I'm going to get out the way, and we're going to hear this um, dynamic praise team. Y'all, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, whatever you need, just like you home. Praise God is just like you in this church. Praise him with all you got. Praise him because he is worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. When I think about his goodness and all that he has done for me, my soul, hallelujah, rejoice, hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for another Sunday. I thank God for his keeping power. I thank God for his healing power. Come on, praise team. Um, their voice is going to come, and, and they're going to bring you our preparation of him. And then after that, um, our bishop is going to come, and y'all just get ready to receive the word, what God has to say to us for the day. 
Now, come on, praise team. Give God some praise. Love y'all. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence in your house one more time. We thank you, God, for again watching over us all night long while we slumbered and slept. And thank you for raising us again early this morning in our right mind. 
with the use and the activity of our limbs. With a mind still stayed on you, with a determination to praise your holy name. God, we come again before your presence. And we ask as always, God, that you will shower down your blessings upon us. Cover us with your love and fill us with your joy. Thank you for the blood that covers us and cover our family. For we know even now that the blood still works. We know the blood still got saving power. The Lord, the blood still got moving power in it to do anything but fail. We thank you, God, for posting your blood on our heart and giving a sign to sin and Satan that we belong to you. Now, God, have your perfect way today. You get the glory out of all that we do. You be praised for all that is about to take place. We ask even now, God, that you will have your perfect way today. Move by your spirit. Touch, heal, and deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. And we promise to give you the glory. And we promise to give you the praise. Because you are worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise belong to you. We lift our voice one more time. Come on, praise stream. Come on. Even you right there in your living room. Lift your voice and give God praise. Come on. Amen. His holy name. Thank you, praise team, and thank you, prophetess, for facilitating today. Thank you to our wonderful musical team, Minister Sigma McGee, our percussionist, percussionist uh, Jamal Bell, Minister Jamal Bell, and to our fantastic, capable, able video team. Thank you so much for making ministry magic here at the New Hope Baptist Church here in Miami. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. What a wonderful privilege it is to have the honor to be in the presence of an almighty God. God is still on the throne, and he is moving by his spirit. He's still healing. He's still handing out blessings. He is still performing miracles. The blind is yet seeing, the lame is yet walking, the deaf is yet talking and hearing. And we thank God for his power to move in this season. Even though we are yet still in this season of pandemic, we are not going to panic. We're going to continue to praise God. We are not going to walk in fear. We're going to operate in faith because God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, 
but power and love and a sound mind. And we're going to use this mind that we have to cooperate and to comply with the instructions and with the, um, uh, all the edits that's being given to us to be safe and keep our family safe. Listen, I know today, even now, people are all over the place enjoying spring break. And we're just praying that we remain safe for when they go home. Listen, you got to make sure you're safe and you keep your family, your loved ones safe. So let's just be uh, in compliance and not become complacent, you know, with what's going on today. We're so close to the end and we don't want to mess things up. Amen. We want to make sure we get our vaccinations. Uh, we stay safe distance. We continue to wash our hands and do those things that will keep ourselves and our family safe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. To the New Hope family, we are honored and we are indeed blessed today. Again, we are here uh, in the month of March. My God, this year is passing by so quickly, so quickly and so fast. But yet, we are honored and blessed to be on this side of an open grave and still have the use and the activity of our limbs. And we thank God for every one of you who have uh, thought it not robbery to continue to support our ministry, to continue to support, support the work of God here as we press through this season. We're going to get through this, and we can't wait until that day comes when we can re-engage, reunite, and re-fellowship as we did in the past, and everyone will be welcomed back in a safe environment. But until then, we're going to continue to press forward to do what God has called us to do. I want prophets to come back real quickly. Amen. I want to uh, give some kudos out. Uh, on yesterday, uh, she was a part of the Super Saturday for the Super Saturday Women's Program, and she did an awesome job. And we are so grateful and thankful uh, for your participation on that great program. How do you do it? How did I do it? I just spoke from my heart, spoke, spoke out of my heart what God put inside of my heart. Why? You did. You was, you was a great uh, uh, response, and you said some great things. Um, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know, prophets, that um, I was the one that you really looked up to. <laughs> well, what I said? I said after the war, my <laughs> God. And they said, what was one of the most memorable days of your life? Yeah. And I just said, the day that my wedding day. Right. Oh, my God. I married the love of my life, my sweet high school. High school sweetheart? My high school sweetheart. And the man that, oh, my God, just make me still feel like we just got married. Well, you got goosebumps, and I got goosebumps. And, um, you know, I get googly eyes when I look at you as well. And your smile is still infectious. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't tell you the other parts that I like, too. But I like everything about you, girl. And you know what other thing they asked me? And y'all already know this about one of, what was one of my memorable moments. And I told them that day, I think, when you wrote me that poem. Uh -huh. And it's still in my heart. You wrote it and you recited it. And then it was a dream, a reality, a dream. That's right. That's right. That's one of my Listen, advice. that was one of the greatest moments of my life when I sat down and penned those words because I had you in mind. And um, I want you to know today that you are the love of my life as well. And um, I thank God for you every day. And I thank every day. God for you. And you're still my best friend. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right. So we want to thank God for uh, Valerie Allen for hosting that great program. And Prophets did an awesome job. And um, it was on Zoom. If you was there, you caught it. If not, go back and look at it. She did an excellent job in representing the New Hope Church and the Holtz clan. So we thank God for you. All right. Today now, I want you to get your Bibles out, your pen and your papers out. Because we're going to go to the word. I want to talk about today the power of obedience. This word keeps coming back over and over again, uh, and I want to deal with that from a different perspective today. The power of obedience. The power of obedience. I'm going to give you about three or four textual scriptures to validate what happens when we become obedient, when we get in line with God, when we line up with God, and what God do for us in return. The power 
of obedience. Now, the word obedience is the root word is obey. No doubt about it. Obedience, obedient, obey. And that, that word is such a powerful word. It means simply to comply. To comply. To fall in line. To comply. And to submit to authority. To comply and to submit to authority. And we know that God is the one who has all authority. And when we speak about obeying, complying, and submitting, we're really talking about submitting to the will of God. Submitting to the, to, to the, to the word of God. Doing what God has called us and ordained for us to do. And when we do those things, when we comply with God's word, with God's will, we put ourselves in a position to receive the blessings of God. Write this down. Obedience brings you to a place of blessings. Obedience will bring you to a place of blessings. It really brings you to the intersections, listen, of blessing from God. Blessings and benefits. It brings you to that intersections of benefits and blessings where God literally opens up the window of heaven and pour out blessings that you and I do not have room enough to receive. And I think this morning, every one of us, without a doubt, want to be blessed from God. We want to receive from God what he has purposed and planned for our life. And the only way we can get there and receive it is by coming into obedience, complying with, and submitting to God's authority. Now, Isaiah 119 says, if we be willing and obedient, this is a word from the past, if we be willing and obedient, we shall eat of the good of the land. Even in this pandemic. Even in this season that we're in, if we just have the willpower and the want to spirit to come into full compliance with and to submit to God's authority, then we will put ourselves in a position where we can receive the benefits and the blessings of God. We're at that intersection now of benefit and blessings. When God is going to pour out his blessings, pour out his favor, pour out his mercy, pour out his healing, give out his miracles of those who are in compliance with and who submit to his authority and to his will. If thou be willing and obedient, you shall eat of the good of the land, the power now of obedience. All right, I want to take you back to a scripture that we found in the book of Exodus. In the book of Exodus, um, chapter 23 and verse 20. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 20. I want you to go there real quickly. I want you to see and sense what God is about to do in, the, in your life and in this season. God's plan for you if you will walk in obedience. If you will submit to his authority. Now I'm in this vein today not so much to hoop and to holler but to preach. But to teach and to give information and to give you um, something that will empower you, something that will build you, something that will motivate you to move forward in God and to receive his blessings and his benefit. All right? That's the purpose of today's message, is to put you in a position where you can move forward to receive from God his benefits and his blessings that he has purposed and planned and really designed just for you. All right. Exodus 23 and verse 20. I'm going to first read from the New King James Version. And it says like this. Behold, 
I sent an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Look, note, God says, I'm sending an angel, not behind you, but in front of you, before you. His purpose is to keep you in the way and to bring you <laughs> to the place, into the place which I have prepared. He says in verse 21, beware of him and obey his voice. There it is again, underline that, obey. Submit to that angel's lead, his guide, his instructions. Beware of him, he says, take note of him and obey his voice. Angels speak. Obey his instructions. He says, do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. The angel, watch this, the angel God has sent to be a blessing in your life has a divine assignment that God has given him. The angel is on an assignment. The angel is on an assignment to bring you to the place that God has prepared for you. Why? So he can pour into your life. So he can deliver unto you what God has purpose and plan for you. That's the New King James Version. In the NET, it says this. It says this, and I, I, I love it because God does things decently and in order. He does things decently and in order. In the NET translation this is what it says I'm going to send an angel before you to protect you as you journey my God I'm going to send an angel before you to protect you as you journey and to bring you into the place I have prepared Look at the assignment of this angel. This angel's assignment is to guard you and to protect you as you journey, as you go in and as you come out. As you journey, as you move from point A to point Z, the angel's job is to remove every obstacle, every roadblock, every interference, every negative uh, activity that is in your path. His job is to guard and to protect. Whenever the enemy, watch this, throw an arrow or try to do damage, it's the angel's job to get in between danger and you. It's the angel's job to guard and to protect you. Even when you're not aware of what's going on, the angel is on assignment 24-7. That's why the Bible says, that's why the song we sing sometimes, all day and all night, the angels keep watch over me. <laughs> the angels, thank God, thank God for his angels that he has set watch over my life, over your life. Things that you are unaware of, things that you cannot deal with, things that you cannot see coming. It's the angel's job to guard you as you journey. My God. My God. How many times the enemy made plans to try to take you out, take you down? How many times the, angel, uh, the angels have stood between you and danger? That's why the Bible say no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Why? Because the angel is on an assignment. He's on guard to guard you and to protect you as you journey, as you journey. He says now, not only is he 
on God to protect you as you're journeying. But it, secondly, he must bring you into the place, not just to the place, but into the place. Into the place that I have prepared. God has prepared. So the angel's job is not only to bring you to the gate, but to get you through the gate. Hallelujah. The angel's job is not just to get you to the place, but to get you in the place. Hallelujah. Thank God for the angel. I may not have the key to unlock the door, but the angel does. I may not have the combination to, uh, to unlock the door, but the angel does. Whatever door needs to be opened, the angel will open it. Whatever needs to be done, the angel will do it. And all I got to do is to follow God's lead. Be obedient. Comply with him. Obey him. Listen to him. Do what he say do. Because he has my best interest at hand. He has my best interest at hand. He has my best interest at hand. That's what the angel is going to do for me. In the Amplified, it says it this way. Watch this. In the Amplified, it says, Behold, I'm going to send an angel before you to keep and guard you on the way and bring you into the place I have prepared. <laughs> I like that one. His job is to go before me and to keep me and guard me. That's the Amplified. And the NET says his job is to pre protect me as I journey. So when I can't protect myself, the angel take care of my business. When I don't see what's coming against me, the angel sees what's coming against me. And before it get to me, it got to get through the angel and it's not going to get through him because God's name is in the angel. The name of God. And when they see that name, that name of God, everything else backs up. Everything else backs up. He's sending his angel, watch this, to keep, to keep me and to guard me. So not just to protect me, watch this, not just to protect me, but to keep me. My God. You see, protect me means he's fighting for me. He's building a hedge, a wall between me and it, whatever it is. But to keep me, that means he is settling me. He's settling my mind. When my mind want to race here and there, the angels bring me back to a good place. When my feet want to go here and there, the angels uh, have a way of keeping me in the straight and the narrow. When my will want to go contrary to God's will, the angel reminds me of the obedience of God. He protects me and he keeps me and he guards me. Hallelujah. He protects me. He keeps me and he guards me. Thank God for the angel. Thank God for the angel. He said, I'm doing all this because I'm on an assignment. I'm on an assignment, Randy. Let me make it personal. Randy, I'm doing all of this because I am on an assignment from God not to just bring you to the place, but to get you in the door. Hallelujah. Can't nobody stop what God wants to do. Can't nobody stop or block what God wants to do. God will move heaven and earth on your behalf. If a way needs to be made, he'll make a way. If a miracle needs to be done, he will provide a miracle. If a battle needs to be won, he'll fight your battle. He's a way maker. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. He can do anything but fail. And when God wants to get you in, he will bring you in. Hallelujah. God put angels on assignment. Woo, he put an angel on assignment to guard me, to protect me, and to keep me. 
When I can't keep myself, he said, I got you. I got you. When I, when I say to myself, I can't handle this no more, God said, I got you. When, I, when I'm undecided, when I don't seem to know how to make ends meet, God say, I got you. God got you, saints. Listen, whatever you're going through, God got you. And he will get you through this pandemic. Oh, yeah, we're coming out and we're going in. We're coming out and we're going in because God has an angel on an assignment. To God, to protect, and to keep, and to bring us not only to the place, but into the place that God has prepared. Now, here's the key, verse 21 in the Amplified. He says, be on guard now. Be on guard before him. Listen to and obey. Listen to and obey his voice. Listen to and obey his voice. The NET says, take heed because of him and obey his voice. That word keeps ringing. Obey, obedience. Be obedient. This is not a time to be stubborn. This is not the time to have it your own way. You are not going to have it your own way. You cannot do your own thing and get what God has for you. You got to come down now from your high horse. And you can't be so stubborn and hard-headed and hard-hearted so that you don't listen to what God has to say. That's why the Bible says, look, he says, now be on guard, be on guard. Take heed, take heed. Get yourself together now. Don't act like you don't hear and don't act like you don't see and don't act like you don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Don't think you're, too, don't think you're smarter than God. You can't tell God what to do. God got to tell you what to do. You can't tell God which way to go. No, God got to show you which way to go. So listen, since God is God and he is all-knowing, he is all-powerful, and he's omniscient, and he's everywhere omnipresent, you might as well line up with him because he see impending danger that you cannot see. He understands the conversations of those who are talking about you, who are scheming against you, who are plotting for your demise. Since you don't know and God know, you might as well comply with him. He knows the enemy's plot and plans. God knows the enemy's plot and plans against that which he has purposed and planned for you. So the only way you can get through this season is to come into total compliance and submit to God's authority. That's why it says, look, take heed. Be on guard. Listen to, watch this, and obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. When you comply with what God wants to do, it's better than making a sacrifice. Because this obedience, on the contrary, disobedience is as of the spirit of witchcraft. Intimidation, domination, and manipulation. You can't operate in that kind of uh, uh, vein and be blessed. You can't walk in that kind of vein and that, that kind of road and be blessed. You can't be stubborn. You can't walk in disobedience. No, God can't bless you if you don't want to be blessed. Be on God. Take heed because of him and obey his voice. Do not rebel. That's what the NET says. Do not rebel. The disobedience, according to 1 Samuel, is as of the spirit of witchcraft. Read that if you can. 
Disobedience and rebellion is as of the spirit of witchcraft. So he said, do not rebel against him. Against who? The angel. Do not rebel against him. Why? Because he will not pardon your transgressions. Because my name is in him. He will not, he, he, no, he's not going to pardon your ill will, your wrongdoing. He don't have time for that kind of activity. It's too much at stake. It's too much at stake. It's too much at stake. Listen, not only is you in, in, uh, in, in the bullseye, but, but when you fall out of compliance, you put your family in the bullseye. It's not just you. It's, it's those attached to you. So while you think you're doing things that only bring pleasure to you or that only affect you, no, no, it impacts everybody attached to you. Amen. So you're going to have to come into compliance. You're going to have to get yourself together. Amen. You're going to have to look yourself in the mirror and say, self, line up. Self, get right. Feet, stand still. So that God can use you the way he wants. This is not a time to be running around. Listen, saints. This is not a time to be acting like you don't see and you don't hear and you don't know. This is no time to get what I call selective amnesia. No, you know you're wise enough. you grown. You understand. You comprehend. You got a mind. You know the difference between right and wrong. You know what sin is and what sin is not. And therefore, the one thing the angel is not going to do is play tricks and games with you. Hallelujah. He don't have time. He don't have time for this shenanigan. He don't have time for our shenanigan. He don't have time, you know, for our mischievous behaviors. He don't have time for that. So if you want to have it your way, go your own way. If you want to do it like that, go ahead and do your own thing, Isley Brothers. It's my thing, and I do what I want. Go ahead. Do your own thing. But listen, you got to get your thing out of here. Because your thing is not going to become my thing. Your thing is not going to stop me from being blessed by God. Your thing is not going to stop me from going in and receiving what God has for me. That's right. That's your thing. But my thing is to line up with the word of God. My thing is to come in compliance with the word of God. My thing is to do my father's will. That's right. I like that. Got to line up. Got to line up. Got to line up. Listen, don't, listen. you got to take, take control of you and your house. You and your house, you got to take control of that. Listen, you, you, own, you own the house. You pay the bills. You provide the comforts. You, you put food in the, uh, on the table. You, 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 you do it. Listen, you can't let folk who are not paying the way determine what the way is. Stand up and be counted. Line up. And be blessed. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Take heed because of him. Be on God. Be on God before him. Listen and obey. Get your little self together. Get yourself together. Man, get yourself together, woman. Get yourself together, boy. Get yourself together, girl. Pull up your pants, boy. Tighten up your life, girl. Get back in right alignment so God can bless you. God cannot bless mess. Messy people do messy things. Be on God before him. Listen and obey his voice. Now you may not never see him, but you can show enough hear him. Somebody said, well, have you ever seen an angel with wings? Uh, uh, no, no I, 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 can't, I can't give the testimony. But the Bible says, beware. 
for you may entertain angels unaware. God can send an angel that look just like you. Talking to you, giving you instructions, giving you uh, the way to escape, providing a way to escape, and, and you discounting that because you don't recognize who's before you. God is speaking. God is speaking. Those that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The power of obedience. Uh, do not rebel. Do not be rebellious in the Amplified. Do not be rebellious toward him or provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgressions. It's my name. My authority is in him. Two things real quickly out of this. He says, do not rebel toward him. So get yourself together now and stop rebelling. You know, you know, being so stubborn, hard-headed. You know, back in the day when I was coming up, they always told me a hard head make a soft behind. Still true. <laughs> mama, mama would tell you, do things. I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to do it. No, 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 no. She said, okay, next time you go before him, poop, you're on the floor out. You got to switch the belt. When I was young, I'm having flashbacks now, but when I was young, whoo, got flashbacks right about now. When I was young, and uh, mama would tell me to do some stuff and I wouldn't do it. Back when I was young, she would get a switch and she would, and she would just tap me on the leg. When I got a little bit older, still a little rebellious, she, she would get a belt. And, 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 she, and, and she would... He tried to hit me on the leg, and I would run in circles to get a, get a, you know, dizzy. Being smart. Got a flashback right about now. Mama was smarter than me. The next time, she said, boy, lay on the bed. And then I couldn't run, and she wore me out. And then when she wore me out, she would put a hand on her hip. She'd say, the reason I'm beating you, yeah, I said it, beating you, is because I love you. And I would say, mama, don't love me so much. And she and she would she would go at it again. But I learned I learned the lesson. I learned the lesson because the next time she did that, I knew I was faster than my mother. And I got up and I was going to run from my mother. And I got up to run, and those little bitty Coca-Cola bottles, she got one off the dress. She said, Boy, if you take another step, I'm gonna bust your brains out. <laughs> now I didn't know if she could throw straight or not, but just in case. That one time she was accurate, I froze. And I went back and laid on the bed and got the rest of that. But you know what? It taught me a lesson. It's better to obey than to rebel. I got more out of my mom and my dad when I started obeying than rebelling. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I had to put that in there. I had a flashback. So don't, don't rebel. And then it says, don't provoke him. Now, we are some provoking people. We know how to provoke folks to anger. You know, we know how to press every button in the book. We know how to do everything that will make them go crazy. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You know. You know what to do. You know what they don't like, and you do just what they don't like. So you know what button to press. But now, if you go pressing the wrong button with God, the angel going to say, you can press that button if you will, but you're getting up out of here. Because I'm on an assignment to bring you to the place of benefit and blessings. And if you don't want to go, I'm not going to make you. The Lord said, I, be, I stand at the door and I knock. And if anyone will open the door, I'll come in and we can have a relationship. But if you don't want the relationship, go ahead on with your bad self. If you don't want all of me, go ahead on with your bad self. Go ahead on, do what you want to do. Go ahead on, go ahead on. One day you'll wake up. Hopefully it won't be too late. But look how far you could have been if you just lined up with God. Here it is. He says, but if you will indeed listen, verse 22, and I'm, I'm going to close out right here. I had more, I'm going to stop. I'm not done. I'm not empty, but I'm going to stop. He says in verse 22, but if you will indeed listen and truly obey his voice 
and do everything that I say. Amplified now. Then he says, this is what I'm going to do. He said, I will be an enemy to your enemies. I will be an adversary to your adversaries. And when my angel goes before you and bring you to the land of the Amorite, the Hittite, the Parasite, the Canaanite, the Hevite, the Jebusite, he said, I will reject them and completely destroy them. And I will make things happen for you that you cannot make happen for yourself. You see what God will do for you? You see what God will do for you if you just line up? If you just stand up? If you just walk in his will and his way? But if you diligently obey, diligently, got to work at it. You got to work at it. If you diligently obey him and do, not just listen, but do. All that I command, then I will be an enemy to your enemies. And I will be an adversary to your adversaries. For my angel will go before you into all of the land of the ites. He said, you must serve the Lord your God. And he will bless your bread and your water. He says, and I will remove, I like this one. And I will remove sickness from your midst. I will remove sickness from your midst. No woman will miscarry her young or be barren in your land. And I will fulfill the number of your days. I will send my terror before you and will destroy all the people whom you encounter. I will make all your enemies turn their backs to you, and I will send hornets before you that will drive out all the ites, the Hevites, the Canaanites, the Hittites. God would do things for you that you can't do for yourself. God will bless you in more ways than you can ever dream or imagine. If thou be willing to and obedient, the power of obedience. If you just have a mind and a will to do what God say do and come into full compliance, he says you will eat the good of the land. I will remove sickness from before you. My God. Psalms 91.10 says no ill shall befall you. And no plague shall come near and nigh your tent nor your dwelling. For God has commanded his angels. Remember that? To guard and to protect and to defend you in all the ways of righteousness. That's what the angel assignment is. Is to bring you into the place of benefits and blessings. To God be the glory. For what he has done. Get ready to receive. Get ready to receive. Get ready to receive. Blessings. Are on the way. We offer Christ to you. Oh my brother. And oh my sister. This is a good time. To get back in right alignment with God. This is a good time. To get yourself together. And come back home. And let God be God in your life. Come on, praise team. We offer Christ to you. We offer Christ, we offer Christ to you. Oh, my brother.
about alignment. Line up with the word. Comply with God's instruction. Follow his angels. the Lord require yet there is room if Israel be lost Jacob would not lose his reward listen it's time to come back in now it's time to come back home it's time to get back in right alignment and listen and obey to God's angels that he has placed before you to guard to protect and to keep you a long life journey and to bring you into the place that God has prepared to release benefits and blessings into your life and if you do that eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered into the hearts of men all of the good things that God has in store for them who love him and for them who are called according to his purpose God bless you today this is the day the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it all right listen New Hope family we have a special request uh, for you today as you know we have been diligent doing what God has assigned us to do even in this pandemic ministry have never stopped and we continue to do the right things and keeping God's house in perfect order. And the Bible says it this way, what we make happen for God's house, he will make happen for your house. What we make happen for his house, this is the place he put his name on. This is the place where he dwells. He said, when you make it happen for my house, I'll make it happen for yours. And now we do have a special need here at the house of New Hope. And to all of our New Hope members, I need your help. We need one another's help. It is time now that we uh, place a uh, re-roofing of our uh, flat roof and our fellowship hall and our offices space in the back. You know, during this time, we've been experiencing some severe leaks, water leaks and damage. And it's time now, after many times of patching and trying to patch up, it's now time to put a new roof on the flat roof. And we need your help. We need your help. I need everyone who's a part of the New Hope Church, and now we have solicit our guests as well, visitors and covenant partners. We need you to sow a seed, a special seed of $250. $250 per member. If you would just put that uh, in a cash app as we give and put the re-roofing for the roof, amen. R-O-O-F, re-roofing of the church, uh, that will be, those funds will go just for that, just for that purpose. Uh, we have negotiated a, an excellent deal uh, for the re-roofing of our church, and um, we have already seeded into that, but we need about $25,000, and I know we can do that. We can, that's no money for us to do. You can do that. You can help us. So if you were just starting today, you know, if you could just write the check for 250 send the cash out when it's time to give, uh, and just place in the column in the memo, re-roofing of, uh, roofing of the church, those funds will go just for that purpose. And for our friends and covenant partners, if you want to join in as well, thank you so much. Our job is to keep the house of God looking good and in good order. We take pride in this. And uh, what we make happen for his house, he will make happen for ours as well. So please join us today. Prophets and I are giving the first five. Amen. Today, we're putting that seed in today. I know uh, Elder Ann Crawford is putting her seed in today. And many others are putting their seed in today. So we need every member. I know we can do it. Amen. I know you hear the call. I know you feel the need. Now, I need you to just do what you need to do to make it happen. We've already engaged a roofer. He's ready to go. 
and uh, we want to get this job done before the rainy season hit. <laughs> Amen. Get it done before the rainy season hit because we don't want to be, you know, having to put in the old days buckets out and, you know, and replacing towels and everything. So we need your help. Amen. So thank you, prophets, for your 250. I put mine in today as well. It's already in the pot. Amen. I hear you. That word, go with that. The power of obedience. I'm going to obey. <laughs> and I'm just going to do it because it's my love for God and the love for my church. And I, Bishop, let me tell you something. Yes. That was an awesome, mighty, powerful, wonderful, great word today. The power of obedience. And I'm telling you, I will obey the, his voice. And another, I will not follow. I'm going to obey. You said he, I, he sent angels for us. That's what the word says. He protects me. He keeps me. And he guards me. And I want God c to continue to, to protect me, to keep me, and to guard me. And I don't have to say no more. You said it in the word. That was a rich word. That was a great word. That was a mighty word. Behold, he says, I send angels before you to keep you. He want to keep us in the way because we, 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 some of us quickly get out of the way. And that's why I said I'm going to get out the way so God can get in the way and have his special, his way, not my will, but his will be done. That was a rich word. And if we would just obey, obey. In times like these, it's time to obey. It's so many things that are happening all around us. I'm just telling you, and when you obey that, uh, obey that word, his blessings, his angels is over, watching over you. I'm telling you all kind of things. It was the other day on 27th Avenue here, right here in our city. Somebody went in on somewhere 175th and went in, shot a young lady. I think she was in there working um, at the salon. Another thing I saw on the news where the guy was on the train track, jumped out the train, hit the uh, um, truck. And he made it out in the nick of, of, of time. Another thing I saw where this mother was behind her daughter, and I think something, a car separated them, got in front. She was following her daughter of four children. Her four, her daughter and her three grandchildren was in the car. And when she saw this big truck. fire, tr a truck, or whatever fire, who, what could have happened? That was her daughter, and all her grandchildren got killed. So I'm just telling you all, my God, it's no time to be playing and faking like you live in holy, but you live in unrighteous. Be ye holy, for I am holy. This word, obedience for all of us. And I just want to please God in my ways, in my action. Not churching when we're in front of everybody, when we're not in front of them. How do you act? So thank you, Bishop, for that word. It was a great word. It was a good word. And I just, is it because I'm telling you, I said all those great things about you yesterday. Yeah. Because you, you, you put an extra twist on it today. Well, let me tell you why. Tell me, baby. Because I'm who I am, baby. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. Thank you so much. But um, that is true. We've got to really be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. All right. Now it's time for us to give. Amen. Get ready to go ahead and sow your seed today as you plant your tithes and your offerings and your special gifts for the roof, you can do that today. Amen. This is the over and beyond offering. And the Bible promised that we would have an abundance for every good work. So I know this seed is already there. God is already giving us the seed. Amen. To participate in this plan process promulgated by God. Amen. Matter of fact, uh, President Joe Biden and uh, Kamala Harris made sure we had an overflow. So we thank God for those stimulus checks. Help me hear somebody. So <laughs> they stimulated AM and the economy. All right. If you give today, you can give by going to our cash app, uh, dollar sign NHMBC 1881. You can plant your seed right there right now, and it will get to the right place. Or you can go online and give through Tifling or give by text giving. All the information is on the screen right now. Or you can go to our website, newhopembc.com, and touch the give or the donate button and just put in the comment section the purpose for your gift and it will get to the right place. And as always, you can just write the check. 
You can mail it in or bring it in. We're here from five, from 9 to 5 every day, Monday through Friday, just to service you. But first and foremost, thank you for being a willing participant in this process. Thank you for seeding into the kingdom and making it happen for the house of God. What you make happen for God's house, he will make happen for your house as well. So thank you in advance for your participation in this process. Want to announce today that we got word earlier this morning that one of our valued members, Miss Josephine Anderson, she was on our sick list for a number of years. She served on Usher Ministry Number Three for a number of years. Faithful member. She transitioned and went home last night. Had a chance to meet with her and and her family, her daughters, uh, on yesterday, and prayed with her. So we are praying much for the Anderson family. When information is received concerning uh, celebration, we will let you know. But please pray much for the Anderson family. Please pray much also for Bishop Billy Baskin and Bishop Catherine Baskin. They lost their son, Jeffrey. He transitioned on this past week as well. And the homegoing celebration is scheduled for this coming week on Friday. They're having the viewing. And on Saturday morning, they're having the homegoing service there at the New Way Fellowship. So please pray much for Bishop Billy and Bishop Catherine Basking of the New Way Fellowship uh, Ministry there in Miami Gardens. We thank you so much for your prayers. All right, saints. Uh, we do have 25 slots this coming week for the um, vaccine. Uh, if you are 50 and over, uh, all you need is your, we need your date of birth and uh, phone number and ID. That's all you need. And uh, we are partnering with the Jackson Memorial Hospital. They're giving out the Pfizer shot. And uh, you can get vaccinated this coming uh, Thursday. You have to give us a call because these, these slots fill up real quick. Uh, call me directly, text me directly at 305-218-4235. 305-218-4235. Please, quickly, because these slots will fill quickly. Or you can text Elder Ann Crawford at area code 305 632 uh, 6966. That is area code 305 632 6966. Do it today now because I'm sure by tomorrow, you know, tomorrow afternoon they're going to all be gone. But if you give us a call today, we can make sure you get on our list and get you vaccinated on this coming uh, Thursday. They have also asked that um, if you are 18, if you are 18 older, up to 49, and uh, you have underlying conditions, you can get vaccinated as well. You do not need a, doc a written doctor's note or uh, information that, that way. Just give them the report that you are, uh, your doctor has asked you to get vaccinated, amen, because of your condition, and they will... Uh, vaccinate you at your word. So if you're 18 to 49, you do not need a doctor's written report, just the fact that you have underlying conditions. So there's no excuse. There's no excuse, and we want to be a help. Right now, we have had a uh, partnership. Over 150 have been vaccinated through this program at New Hope, and we are trying to do our best to help the community. So help us to help you. Amen? Amen. All right, prophetess, I'm done. Anything else? I'm done too. You're done too. Again, congratulations on a fantastic job yesterday on the Super Woman's Saturday program. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Sarah Lynn. Thank you, Colez, our video team. You did a good job as always. Amen. Everybody, say amen. God has spoken. God has spoken. 
So let the church. Let the church. Let the whole church. Amen. Oh, can I get a witness? Let the church. Oh, say amen. To what his will is. Let the church. What his word say. God has spoken. God has spoken. So let the church. Let the church. Let the whole church. Amen. Oh, yeah. Make this your response. Amen. Whatever he says. Amen. From the healing of your body. Amen. To the raising of the dead. Amen. How you feel, Amen. how your world is real, that alone through the night. Because you're going to fight, Amen. even in the valley, Amen. standing at your Red Sea. Amen. Continue to say, because your help is on the way. Amen. Why? Well, well, well. Let the church. Let the whole church. Amen. Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, our hearts have felt. Thank you most of all for your power and your presence in this place. Go with us now as we leave this place, but never your presence. This we ask in Jesus' name. Let the church say, Amen. All right, we love you. God smile on you. We'll see you next week, same time. But until then, God has spoken. Well, well, well. Let the church, Let the church say, say All the deacons and all the deaconesses and all the members. God has spoken. Well, well, well. Let the church say, Amen. let the church say, let the church say, let the church say, God has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. So